Alright, hey guys, CBAG0 doing a round of a Winter Open match. It's RD2L once again. It's in route versus Pandas. This is, again, the second round. There's eight teams left. So whoever gets this will move on to the semifinals and uh, get another, well, get the shot to win, to winning five of the uh, RD2L Winter staff. So for your Crystal Maiden, so definitely something <laughs> I guess you would like to take for a Saturday, uh, Saturday walk, I guess. Um, but anyways, in route, they go with the Tempersol first. Looking at the bands, they, they ban on some interesting heroes, the Slark and the Bristleback. They might know something. They, they might have had time to scout a bit from the Pandas. En route finished their games uh, pretty early, or, or their first game pretty early. The Pandas, they're going to go with the Death Prophet first. Um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of Death Prof Prophet first pick, um, but it's actually not too shabby. Almost a counter to the Tempersol. Um, Tempersol just can't go crazy uh, because there's a long duration silence and oh they're gonna go with the Darkseer follow-up pick so they get a very strong offlane hero uh, he hasn't seen a lot of the meta recently uh, the vacuum just keeps getting nerfed and nerfed and it's kind of kind of sad um, in my opinion but we'll see how this turns out for them uh, so look for them to get a big wombo combo stunner maybe an alchemist to follow up for the pandas pugna they is the second pickup here they might get a bit of pushing they get a bit of counter pushing at the same time and of course we, we might see some uh ward baiting by throwing out the nether ward and as soon as they try to right click it they get called out instantly and of course you can decrepify your ward to keep it alive so being right clicked uh, so that'll definitely be something to watch um for Radiant definitely team something burn. to watch for vg gaming loves doing it basically all the chinese teams love doing it dk did it um, but there's a weaver band now now we're kind of doing burn. a throwback to the older meta uh, about a couple months ago weaver gets banned out chen is still a very viable pick in the competitive scene so they might know that pandas have a very strong um chen player but we'll see how that turns out for them uh, so in ro route uh with their fourth man so they're again they're probably looking for more wombo combos or they just know more about the pandas than i do because I, I really don't know too much about them do i recognize any names um no for for pandas i don't uh, alvor maybe i right might recognize alvor uh, for the other side i, I do recognize james awamza uh, i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right um but he is on my friends list a so nice guy nice guy uh, he is the captain as well. <coughs> Fridge will be drafting for pandas. I, I don't know too much about uh, Fridge, unfortunately. Uh, but wow, they're taking a lot of time on this band. They, they're not too sure, but they go with the Venomancer. I like that band. Uh, it the does give them the AoE. does give them a pretty insane now. slow. You get a vacuum into a gal. Uh, they're Radiant basically slowed pick. for almost forever. And pandas, they ban off the TA. Uh, they think Pugna is going to be that tri-lane farmer. And that's most likely going to happen. I think. I mean, Pugna's not bad mid. Yeah, he's not bad mid against a Death Prophet. Um, but Pugna is pretty good against Death Prophet uh, in terms of that mid game push. I throw out the Nether Ward, and uh, Death Prophet can't be so careless with that Crypt Swarm. Uh, she could get uh, bursted down by the Nether Ward. And I'll be interested to see how En Root builds Reserve this Pugna. Time. Probably going to go max out Nether Blast first and then put one level into Crapify and max out Nether Ward. And may altogether skip Life Drain. If you watch competitive play recently, they skip Life Drain um, until like maybe maybe even level 11. I don't even know. They might not even get it to like 14, 15, or 16. I, I can't even tell you that. But uh, pandas, they get with their they get their third pick. Uh, I, I I still think it's going to be a wombo combler. Uh, Naga is in a pool. I don't I don't think Naga would be absolutely terrible here. Uh, you're almost guaranteed to get a silence on two heroes unless uh, they're just so well spread out. Uh, they go with the shadow shaman. Okay, they're going all out on this push strap. Uh, the darkster. I don't know if he adds that much in a push strap. But maybe, ooh, we might we might see some amazing vacuum into a uh, mass servant ward um, block or yeah trap. I, I don't expect <laughs> you probably won't get it. It'll be very hard to. I I, I remember seeing um, some um, not well Dota Dota Cinema top ten or something like that. I think and <laughs> there was a vacuum serpent ward combination and and they got like four heroes and it was pretty amazing four five or five heroes but rubik i like that pickup there's a lot of good spells to steal back anything you steal from darkster is going to be useful anything from shadow shaman is going to be absolutely useful even death prophet has a lot of good spells uh 
Rubik's a really good pick. It's a, a nice all-rounder. Only thing is, he's going to be slow. Uh, he needs his levels to get really online. He might need a teeny bit of farm to get his four-staff Blink Dagger. Uh, other than that, I, I mean, you get the stun, you get the nuke. What else do you want? Uh, and you can get you get a magical survivability. They do have a bit of counter push, at least killing the creep waves. Although no, they they might have amazing. to figure out something in killing these mass serpent wards. A uh, TA TA was probably a decent pick if they were able to get him, but he ends up getting banned. Pandas, uh, probably. What do they want to go for? I mean, I think Shadow Shaman is going to be a support. I mean, they could be they could run a mid, um, but well, okay. Hypothetically, I think this might happen. Death Prophet will be the Trilane Farmer, Shadow Shaman mid, Darkstar offlane. I think that's what's going to happen. So does that mean they need two more supports? Yeah, they go with the Leshrac. I was about to call it out. They go with the Leshrac. They want even more push. They could look to go for Rat Dota. Uh, they could also use like a Nature's Prophet or they could go Jungler. They don't have to do a Trilane. They can do like a 1-1-2 a, a one, one, with a 1 and a Jungler. Uh, Enigma, for example, would be amazing here. Although he could he could die very easily. Um, the thing is, this Pugna is, is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, he, he's going to be a thorn for sure. Um, for pandas, I think. Uh, what the, what do they need? I mean, they could just go all out push. They could go with the Rat Dota, uh, go four one with the, these as the four and have like maybe a Nature's Prophet. They could go with the Enigma again. Um, and why not? I mean, you could get a very nice vacuum, maybe possibly a blink into a black hole. Um, who else is a great pusher? Hmm. Hmm. Dragonite. Yes, Dragonite is a, is a very nice pusher. Um, the Dragonite Pugna was a pretty decent combo in uh, Chinese play or yeah, Eastern scene. And then they're the ones that pick up the Alchemist. This is mm, okay. Ten. It's probably going to be a carry Alchemist. Probably Timbersaw offlane, Pugna mid, these two in a try. Now this try lane is going to be pretty scary. Although so far, so far if they run the Shadow Shaman Lushrak support, that's going to be scary. That's, some, that's definitely going to be something to take into account. I think Dragonite is a hidden gem in this, in this pool. Both teams could look to go for him. Uh, see, Panas could get that Dragonite mid. He does add that initiation. Dragonite put him mid has that uh, Dragon Tail, and they could. Have, they have someone beefy Dyer to tank up, bear. and they also could go uh, use a Dragonite, especially with the drag the Pugna Dragonite yeah. combination. This is actually looking like a, a, a DK draft Great here. Team. If they pick up Dragonite, if they pick up Dragonite, that's the that's the thing. We'll see. Um, they don't have a lot of pushers besides the Pugna, but they need someone to be able to tank for them. Okay, Panas to go with the Gyrocopter. I mean, they, he adds a bit more AOE, uh, and I guess they want some late game security just in case things go to hell. But they still have that lot. They still have a lot of push. So look for a four protect one strat, possibly with the well, I guess maybe four, four point five protect half. Uh, Gyrocopter, I'm sure will 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 fight. Um, we'll rotate nicely. We'll protect his towers. We'll throw out call downs whenever need be. Uh, look for a vacuum call down combination. That'd be nice. That'd definitely be nice. Um, but it takes a bit of skill. Um, you get the vacuum. Uh, get the split earth. You'll probably try to get a silence and a call down on top of all that. And of course, you can't forget the wall, Reserve but time. your positioning has to be superb for all of that to work perfectly. Um, en route. We're looking for a last pick. I really hope they pick up the Dragonite. Because then that'll make me feel good if, if I call it perfectly. I think they're going to pick a... I, they can go support. They can go mid. Uh, I, Pugna, Pugna support is just not very good. I, I've seen it fail so often. I've, I've failed at it terribly many, many, many times. But I really like the logo for Enroot. Pandas is cute as well. Like, shout out to Red Pandas or something. The cute pad red pandas and they they've been doing not too well. Um, they had well I, I shouldn't talk about Five them too much. En <laughs> uh, route options Thanks. are they go with the bone clinks, a bit of rat though, a bit of ganking. Uh, Pugna just basically is there to support. Now let's see how they land them. Clinks I think should get a solo lane. He shouldn't lose to a dark seer. Uh, if he gets a solo one v one, he he could, it could be this could be an aggro try with the um. With the Rubik and Alk, and possibly Pugna. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so no, it's going to be... Uh, no? Okay, so maybe they're going to run an aggro try. They might try to get the first bud. 
we'll see how it goes. This is a decent first blood lineup. You get the you get the alchemist uh, stun. You get the lift from the Rubik. It's time for me to introduce the players. Uh, Death Prophet. He's going to go mid. It's going to be Fridge on the Death Prophet. Dark Seer being played by Wabbit Jen. Uh, Left Strike being played by Sintian Waffle. And the Shadow Shaman surprise pick C16. Nice pusher. Alvor on the Gyrocopter. On the other side, en route. The Captain Jane, James Awamza uh, is being played. Um, is being is playing the Pugna. Rubik being played by the One Ginger. Uh, Clinks being played by Strong. So he's actually seconds. really far out. Hasn't leveled up anything. How are they going to get first blood here? I guess they just want to scout what the lanes are going to be before they decide what's going to happen and uh, block up the camp. Really want to block up the camp. Wow, they're they're investing a lot about this. Uh, generally, it's actually not too bad of a board. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that one to be honest. Uh, well, I need to. Strums on the Clinks, um, Jeffen on the Timbersol, and Alchemist being played by Lilun. Uh, I should move up the last into the nines. Here we go. Actually, Pugna is going to run mid against the Death Prophet, and he should not do terribly at all. What's it, his base damage? Is it higher than Death Prophet's? No, he, Death Prophet does have that mantle of intelligence, so it is just uh, temporarily higher. And so it's going to be a Tempersol soloing against the Darkseer. I think Tempersol should have a bit of advantage here, um, but it, it should be a wash, actually. Yeah, it should be washed. They're gonna run the tri lane with the bone clinks. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it's okay. Um. Nothing like I expected. Still kind of feel sad that they ignored the dragonite. But whatever. I'm not the one playing my team. Um. Wasn't able to get five. It's a bit unfortunate. Strums. Already getting a bit of last hits, and it should actually is just toggling the shooting arrows on. Uh. Still need to be a bit careful. There's a lot of damage. Only thing is they don't have any gear. Well. Well, it all depends. C16 probably won't get the best uh, shackles of his life. Um, but it, it's going to be very scary. Shackles is actually going to go out. There's going to be a stun here. There's, there's, oh, there we go. The one ginger is down first blood. Goes to the di uh, to the radiant. Alvor picks it up. Gyrocopter. This is this is so much damage from the rocket brush. I, I, I even, uh, but Rubik dies so quickly he couldn't even do anything. Um, they, they already had multiple ways of stopping, I guess. They, they were so sh they were so anxious on trying to stop the Shadow Shaman. Um, that that just happened. So now they know the, the uh, camp is blocked. They want to do a pull through. He, even needs, needs a creep. Well, he doesn't even have sentries. They won't be able to get Actually, Gyrocopter is in a bit of trouble, but I can't even tell who's going to die. Actually, Clinks dies. Wow, Clinks actually dies. I wasn't even paying attention. Tempersol also pops. And the backside darks here chases him down with the ion shell. So in the end, this is a very good start for pandas. I missed already two kills, and I'm a I'm a terrible bastard, aren't I? Uh, but interesting channel. Okay, takes a lot of damage, wastes man. I'm not the best, um, and not looking good for en route. Alvor gets. It's just going to farm very well now, and this is this is a scary thing. You just cannot get isolated like that. the The rocket barrage is just so good. And of course, Lestrak has been pretty key on getting the stun out. I, I was amazed that they were able to get a kill without the Shadow Shaman being there. But I guess that's just how pro this Lestrak is, being able to land a stun like that. Clinks might get just zoned out, and okay, they're doing a lane switch, I believe, uh, or just going to run the two on two. I think they could even throw the Timber Saw down bot lane right now and move these two supports back top. Uh, they're just not going to be able to do much. It's going to be hard for, oh, it's going to be hard for these guys to kill a Timber Saw if things go to plan. But now they're just going to leave these two supports down. I really think they should try to rotate as soon as possible. Have the Timber Saw go bot. And yes, he's going to go bot. Here we go. Or they're just going to run an aggressive trialing like this. They can. They very well can do this. Uh, Timbersaw has a better survivability. He even has a stout shield. Does have level 3. Probably going to get... Yes, does have an reactive armor. They can even look to turn things around. They're not going to be so easy to kill now. Alchemist level 3. Uh, Rubik level 2. That's, ki that's kind of the good thing about dying. I guess at least the people that survive will be able to sap some EXP without you there. Um, stealing it. If you call that stealing it, Clinks. Died, Rubik died. And Alchemist was only survived there. That's why he's level three. Does have uh, two levels in acid spray. Um, well, may, this might be a misclick. 
I think two levels in unstable concoction is better. Yeah, I think two levels in unstable concoction is indeed better. Uh, Elena, I haven't really talked about much. It's a Death Prophet Pugna, one v one mid, and uh, how are they doing? Actually, uh, it's pretty. Oh wow, wow! Pugna has seven denies. I mean, 11, eleven last hits, but I'd say he's leading uh, only because he has so many freaking denies. And there's a run race to the ward, um, to the rune. Who's gonna get it? Yes, should be Pugna. Rich might be able to. No. Oh no 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 no! no. I will get it. Yes. It takes a lot of takes a lot of damage. He might. He won't die here. He even pops a regen rune. And ooh, oh, uh, nicely played from James, uh, James, oh, uh, James, oh, uh, James, oh, uh, and I, I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Pugna. Sorry, bro. I, I, I need to ask you how to pronounce your name <laughs> after the game. Um, again, this is round of eight, round two of the RD2L Winter Open, and ooh, okay, Wabbit Jin is gonna do some creep cutting. I like this. This is this has been a lost art onto the onto the game. Um, Clinks he he cannot tank the creep wave at all. He's actually last hitting very well now. Eighteen and no compared to Darks here fourteen uh, and two. Uh, this is going to be a creep skip from the uh, Darks here, and this would make it hard for Clinks now. And they're they're going to push this tower. Uh, flat cannon was already used. Okay, they're going to push. I don't. Yeah, I, I guess that's okay because Pugna is not really a rotating uh, mid. Uh, not very good at rotating. And Strums. Taking a bit of damage, but man. He's really last hitting well. I'm proud of you. Alzor. Or Alvor, not Alzor. Uh, has treads. Decided not to go phase. Or phase, like phase drums, I guess. He might just rush for a BKB. And BKB is going to be very important uh, against these guys. I, I, I fully expect the BKB at some point on Alvor. Otherwise... And this would be a relatively quick orchid on Strums. Otherwise, he'll just have a terrible time. And ooh, Strums get losing a bit there. Rabbit Jam should be fine. Oh, they're gonna find him. He doesn't have mana. He he's gonna die. Oh my God, Strums is gonna die here. He's trying to self up, but I don't think it matters. He doesn't have any mana. There we go. Gets solo killed by Rabbit Jam. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not too happy about that. Pinging away, probably hoping for a TP, but the two supports can't even get close uh, because they're pushing the wave. They can't get anywhere close uh, for a TP skull. That's why it's so hard. Otherwise, you have to hog the um, the courier. Well, uh, oh well, maybe Jamza could have rotated, but I guess he just possibly just got uh, just got the TP scroll. Not sure how much help it would have been there, because. Creep wave was there to really um, tank it up a bit, but Darkstar is playing really well. The score is four to zero right now, uh, and and uh, Pandas get a tower, and they're going to continue pushing. Um, Fridge is there; it does have the ulti. I think tier two is going to be threatened right here. Just need to wait for another creep wave DD rune on Fridge. Pugna needs to rotate, or he's going to try to take a, a trade in the tier one tower. I think he could. He, he should rotate. Um, it is worth it. Oh wow, so much damage. So much damage. I'm gonna take it. I guess here we go. Ulti out in the death prophet. It might be a bit late, yeah, because you don't really have creeps to tank it now. They're they're basically dead. I think she should have used it a bit earlier. Or they just knew there was that. Yeah, maybe she just knew there was that. But now Pugna has rotated in. Uh he's lacking a bit on mana, doesn't have any charges. Oh, will they see him? Will they see him? They see him, but they're not gonna do anything about him. Just not gonna do anything about him. And there's a zoning flat canning. Alvar gets picked up, but they're not going to be able to chase or do what's what's it to him. Um, and they're really going to try to take this tower now. They're going to take it too. I think uh, there's no level 6 on the... Oh, Pugna's in trouble. He needs to be careful. Trying to bait him in uh, there. But there's no level 6 for the Temper, so he's underleveled. It's a bit unfortunate for them. Pinging him out. Pugna not doing... A not having a, a good time at tower all. It's time for me to go to net worth. And wow, three Radiant Heroes on top. Uh, Clinks, he's he might be... He's going to have to create some space soon. Uh, actually, the site has a quarter staff. Uh, yeah? Okay. <clears throat> Wabbit Gen. Wow, really close. Uh, finish the mech. Sol Ring finished the mech. Eight minutes and a half. Holy moly. He's, he's farmed. He is farmed as hell, getting two solo kills, and what's it? There's not much. Oh no! 
Oh no, uh, Wabbit Gen. Oh, they try to smoke. They wasted the smoke. He lifts them up. Oh, why did you bring them closer? Now you're dead. And then uh, I guess they at least wanted to cancel the surge. But man, Wabbit Gen is just soloing everybody. Their Wabbit Gen will die though. He gives up a dominating streak, 531 gold. But Wabbit Gen, jeez, Jesus, gets four solo kills, two right here, two supports trying to smoke up. It didn't matter. Well, at, on the bright side, James uh, gets uh, Enza streak. But, ooh, well, it's a lot of damage. Enza streak, so he will be able to get some. Um, get Enza streak of five and gets 531 gold for it. On the downside, he wasted his smoke and lost two supports. Um, but now they're taking towers. There's only two outer towers left, soon to be just one. What do you do against this? Trying to just blast away. Will they get the nice deny? Nice deny. Is against the Death Prophet's ghost, ghosts. Uh, we'll see. So. They need more. Timbersaw needs to get his levels. He needs to do better. And uh, oh no, Strums is so dead. Nice. Did he even throw the hex? Yeah, he threw out the hex. There it is. Strums dead. No way he gets out there. Uh, Skeletal Mock only has one level in it, so he can't just run away quickly. Uh, this is an interesting build. Searing arrows. I guess this is a typical build, right? I don't even remember how I built him. Yeah, I guess this is a typical build. Uh, but he gets even further away from um, the orchid. Of course, Clinks did spend his money already, and they're gonna—they're looking to take um, uh, take the tier two top. Uh, Death Prophet doesn't have his ul her ulti quite yet. She actually doesn't have too much, uh, but it's only ten minutes in. This is actually not bad. Ten minutes in, but Gyro is doing very well for himself. Uh, James uh, tr throws out the war. Needs to be careful with this. Oh, they actually lifted the Darkseer. I don't think Darkseer will die. They don't have any way of stopping him. Alchemist is going to stun himself. No, hexed up. Will. Oh, get it off. 16 will die here. And there we go. Oh, vacuum wall. There's four. Call in it. But still, uh, Wabbitgen might die. He doesn't even have mana. He actually popped the mech. Will die there on the backside. Uh, but instead, they're dying so much buyback from the Darkseer. How is he going to get that back into the fight? I don't know. Uh, but. Timbersaw is there. He's almost dead. Uh, Clinks did die. Alchemist died. Gets the lift off. Just trying to save Timbersaw. Nice save. Um, but I back use from the darks here. And, I mean, in the end, they're still going to lose the tier 2, maybe? Uh, no, they're not going to lose it. Death Prophet's ulti will die out. Al uh, and Gyrocopter, meanwhile, free farming like a boss. Uh, it's almost got that beat. Well, oh, not almost. He's halfway to his BKB. Cancels the TP for some. Cancel the TP. For whatever reason, I'm trying to get up on them, but this is looking pretty gr grim for uh, en route. Attack. <clears throat> uh, the one ginger is so so poor. I mean, they're just trying to get some words up somehow. Bad dude's top tower gonna and Wabbit Jin cutting some more creep waves. They're going to take the tier two tower. It's the last one. Uh, well, the second to last one. That's just going to pick him up. Uh, they need to make sure he surges away. Wabbit Jin. They're going to try to. I think they're going to get the nine as well. And they're going to get the kill. Nice kill. But they still have to lose that tier two tower. They're just losing so much vision right now. Um, somehow, somehow, some way, it's going to work out for them. Oh, they don't see it. They, they don't even suspect it. At all. There's sentry here. Nice sentry. Maybe they felt like. Timbersaw, now he's online. He does have his chakram out. Uh, watch for that damage. It won't be as easy for these guys to push now. Uh, because they, sm they grouped us five. Um, it might be a bit harder. Only the gyrocopters farm, but I, that might be all they need. Uh, he's almost got the mithor hammer and soon to turn it. Did I say Mithril Hammer? Is that actually what it's called? I can't remember. Uh, Mithril... Yeah, it is called Mithril Hammer. For whatever reason, it just seemed awkward for me to say Mithril Hammer. And there's going to be some de-warding action. Ooh, they won't get it. Well, they at least get the ward, but Clinks is there to get that other one. But now they're, they're terrified. They don't want to try to deal with that. They actually don't They actually don't know if there's one there. Um, but this ward actually sees it. They're going to go de-ward this one now. Um, here we go. And that's why when you do what you need to throw a sentry down. Oh, they're missing. They're missing, missing, missing. But I guess it doesn't matter. Can't really do much. Oh, no. Uh, I think Sentinel is getting dragged inside the team right now. And that ward's going to do a bit of damage here. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, they do bring him down. Rubik will die as well. 16 might get blown up. Yes, will die. But everyone else is back. That Prophet is here now. This is getting chaotic. Strum's trying to run away really quickly. Alchemist stuns himself. Call down is there. Uh, Jeffen trying to run away. 
Two supports are dead right now, but probably more are going to die. Strums, it's a bit of trouble. Gets pulled back um, from the vacuum, uh, but right before he dies, he throws out the last one, trying to save his buddy uh, Pug, Pug, Pugna. Rubik is there, trying to get the lift, does get the lift. Don't know what they can do about it right now. Wabajin is still there. He's tanky as crap. Uh, ooh, 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 nice, nice, okay. Trading some Crypt Swarms, trading some Crypt Swarms. They do hold a good exchange for Enroot, I'd say. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> Chakra I'm throwing out just for the walls. And Bloodstone being really delayed by uh, uh, Jeff and just not having a good time. On one and two, oh, he's only died once. He's been involved in three. Uh, but they lose another tier two. That's their last outer tower. Pretty big deal. Pretty big deal. Um, but Gyrocopter... He's largely not been in that. Uh, that was the only fight he's been in, and he's gonna have his BKB. Here we go. Once he cleans out this camp, BKB will be his. Oh my God! It's a triple stack. It's beautiful. Is it a triple stack? Uh, one, two. Yeah, I think it's a triple stack. It's so beautiful. And there we go, just flacking away. We'll take it. I wonder if they took advantage of like having a zoo up here. I don't know. Was uh, was Darkseid actually doing that? I don't know. But BKB up for him. He's gonna finish off this centaur. Gonna go heal up. Um, is that a dominated creep? Yes, it is. It's a dominated creep to stack the hard camp instead of the uh, the ancients because he's not he's not strong enough to kill the ancients quite yet. And now things are just going to get even scarier. No way can Clink pick off this gyro. No way can Timber or Alchemist or, or even a gank party kill this gyrocopter. <clears throat> and he can just look to turn things around. He, and his damage is not ass either. 79 plus 44. Pretty good pretty good he's even got a dust of appearance in case clinks tries to make a go on him um but i, I think as soon as they oh stroms actually leaves uh he's almost got his second oblivion staff um at least he can pick off some of these squishier heroes if need be uh shadow Shawn may not be i don't know that, that if he gets an orchid up it might be kind of easy still they're not out of it and we're looking at the exp graph it's over 3000 in favor of pandas um oh, 12,000 in favor of pandas for gold but that's because of the towers uh clinks might just have to go for like rat dota rat dota just it, it's going to be hard too because they have so many lo they have the shadow shaman wherever shadow shaman goes it, it, it might be death why they trying to make it a great escape work it out fine no way they can do anything about that um even even uh lila stuns himself it's a nice centaur for his troubles and um, space created this darks here <clears throat> and this is this is why dark Seer was picked so uh so often before and i think uh this is a reminder that dark Seer is very competitively viable right now and maybe my team might try to run it at some point we're gonna go for the roshan um yeah just waiting for the dark Seer. i'm sure did he have the damage uh, well they have the dd on the death they should be able to take him Sixteen could look to help out a bit. He does have his wards. Ooh, ooh, they see him, they see him. Clink sees him. Sixteen might die here. They're gonna just back off. Oh, call down. This is looking really bad. Oh my gosh. They threw their ultis and they get bursted. And well, what do you know? Nice. Get stuck. You you keep yourself stuck. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. Um but now they can't do anything. Uh, that that was just brutal. They tried to get an easy pick up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> he was stuck for good and he couldn't get out. So Alchemist just assassinated him. Um. <laughs> so they lose the Roshan and they lose their their cores. Uh, Pugna was the only survivor there. On the bright side, they don't have to deal with the Death Prophet ulti quite yet or the Shadow Salmon ulti. So maybe they can't breach this... Um, BKB still online ages up. Uh, I, I think they should probably just farm the other lanes and then come back mid later on. Because you don't have your ultis for at least another. But I guess they don't care. They just want to continue pressuring. And I guess that's why they don't care. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Call down again going to be used. Lilum is in a lot of trouble. Again, that's that's just an ages for Alvor if he dies. They still lose the Darkseer and the Leshrac. Darkseer actually buys back. Losing a lot of money. Alvor just has his... Um, you really gonna chase this? Really gonna chase the Jalvin? Uh, Jeffen uh, has a lot of trouble. 
bridge is also in a bit of trouble. Actually gets bursted down. 16 might be dead here. Darkseer, I'm sure, is coming. There he is. Darkseer is here. Vacuum wall. There we go. And Alvor, he, I mean, he dies, but it's just an Aegis. And Rubik, Rubik, Rubik. Goodbye, Rubik. Uh, not much you can do here. Al Alvor is back. And there's a stun going out, but I, I think, I think the one's going to die anyways. Uh, why, why the crap of this? Doesn't stop the Ion Shell damage. It's not the right click that you're worried about. It's not the Karate Chops you're worried about. It's the okay, Wabbit Jim's on Taco. It's the um, it's the Ion Shell. Oh, Pugna gets a double kill. Where, Pugna? How how are you such a boss? Was it the Nether Ward that just zap bitty zap zap? Who knows? But they hold. They freaking hold. Uh, so it works out nicely. Uh, for in route, but I, at the same time, you got to get a feeling that it's po if it. If the pandas had the death prophet ulti, and if they had the shadow shaman ulti, things would have been vastly different. Would have been very, very different. Um, I think it was a mistake for Fr for the pandas to be so impatient about the uhu. Did they have a gem yet? They might as well hold a gem. Like this pro whoa, yeah, oh, scythe of vice. Yet another way of picking off this poor, poor, poor. Um, this poor clinks. Does have his orchid? That's that's nice. Can he get pickoffs? It's going to be a big question. He can't. He can't kill bot. He can't kill this gyro. If anything, gyro can kill him. So a big win. Um, look for a dip. Yeah, we we see actually a pretty significant dip at least in exp. Uh, gold is still <laughs> still radically different. But the dire are just one team team wipe away of at coming back in this game. They team wipe them. They'll be ahead in exp. They'll take. This tower, they'll take this tower. Okay, maybe not not that tower, but definitely this tower. <laughs> they'll take at least one or two towers, and um, they'll get right back into it. They get a team fight away. They can they can uh, dip this into five. They can dip it by five k, and Clinks will just get scarier because uh, these two supports, the Leshrac and the Shaman, are still very very squishy. Uh, but okay, now they have their ultis. I don't think they're going to mess up this time. Uh, but you gotta be careful. BKB gets popped. Call down is there. Not gonna hit. Well, it does hit Rubik a bit. Uh, Ward is down now. Now they can finally pop their ultis. Um, Pugna Ward was a bit too close, in my opinion. I guess they were really trying to bait something out of it. Wabbit Gem. Wabbit Gem. Gonna be careful. Fridge goes down. Death Prophet goes down. Shadow Shaman goes down. Vacuum Wall. But they're gonna kill Wabbit. Rabbit is dead. And oh my gosh, Jeffen is there. They kill three. Like I said, this they were one team fight away from turning things around um, now they're gonna push uh, or they're gonna go gank gyrocopter gyrocopter needs to back up um, bit premature on the ulti uh, I think the positioning from the pugna ward wasn't that great but at the same time it, it ended up being enough the timber Sol's damage was enough um, to hold they, they still had the rubik they still had um, the unstable concoction death prophet doesn't have any survivability that's what happens when you rush um, Nothing but a hex stick. I think maybe maybe get some HP. Maybe um, heart would have been good. Uh, I, I don't want to say bloodstone. I really don't. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, 1100 HP is nothing. That really is nothing. Maybe drums. Do they have drums? They don't even have drums. I think drums would have been nice. But like I like I pointed out earlier, they're they're still very squishy, very very squishy. And Darkseer is probably regretting all those buybacks. He bought back I think you twice in this game already, maybe even yeah, at you least twice. Um, I guess it I guess it only was a grand total of possibly like eight hundred gold, but it, it's still a bit, still lack a bit of survivability. Um, <clears throat> they're gonna bang their heads once more. Will they be able? Will the Dire be able to hold the the next time they hold? It should be easier for them. Um, it's 16 16 is the score Something looking at the gold graph it's, it's 10k um, and, but the exp are, are even the exp the exp graph is even not are even jeez loomy grammar loomy grammar Jar uh, Jar is not there this time they need to be sh they need to be careful they can't just run in like that Strums really wants to get a kill do they have detection they do have a sentry ward and they have dust he needs to be careful oh Strums Strums if they drop a sentry ward you're dead I think oh he wants to pick off Wants to pick off. Will he be able to get it? If he tries to illusion rune, is there? Uh, is he gonna go for the illusion rune? Does he see that word? No, he doesn't see that word. Actually, does he? I don't know. I'm trying to get the backstab on the. Okay, yeah, he's gonna try to stop the creep wave. I, is he? Okay, maybe not. 
Oh, just wanted to run around, grab a TP scroll. Uh, Pugna Ward will get dropped soon. Trying to kill the rocket. They do get a rocket. Nice goal for him. And now he's going to try to backdoor the... Yeah, he's going to backdoor the tower. Uh, there we go. Nice tower kill for them. Uh, very nice. I was expecting them to get this one earlier after they won that team fight. But they're not going to do it. He can also look to grab the creep wipe and finish them off. Uh, make it much harder for them. Kind of do some of that rat Dota uh, things that nature's profit. Uh, profits do. But he's not going to do it. He's just going to play it safe because uh, he could get caught out. He, he, I guess he doesn't. He, he, he has no idea uh, where the dire are. They can always backtrack and get the kill. Uh, Sean and Leshrick are still very, very poor. Uh, Leshrick does have a four staff, so we could look for a four staff initiation onto the Shaman. I think Shaman should have been one that got the four staff and get the Leshrick <laughs> to be the ward bitch. Um, Shaman four staff would have been very, very nice. <coughs> Lizarin is there and now they're gonna try to starve him out clinks is making headways he has finished up his treads has more so of ability really i'm sure he really wants to eat a creep somehow some way um ooh. oh four staff crepify and they're gonna go in on this they're gonna initiate they're gonna say screw this but oh this is gonna be a bad idea for them they already lose the rubik uh pugna ward might get dropped soon can't drop it quite yet um, but Klinks is in a lot of trouble they actually killed a death prophet this is actually doing better now um, that's because gyrocopter wasn't there I thought it was looking really bad um, but gyrocopter wasn't there I, I think they were just missing a couple heroes and yeah the, their entire team wasn't there gyro and shaman so they hold once again they can't push without the death prophet um, strums wants another pick off uh, We'll see when Roshan will come up. It'll tell us soon. Uh, I didn't actually see. I guess they'll they'll tell me really soon. Respawns in a minute and forty seconds. Okay. Respawns in a minute and forty seconds. I still have a hard time reading this new Roshan timer. It's not so new now, but but I'm just new at this. Just really am new at this. Oh, they see him. Wabajin wants the perfect vacuum wall. And after an amazing start, he's not been doing too well. He's been feeding and trying to buy back and wasting a lot of gold. Uh, they want their levels uh, pretty soon. Uh, there's 1,900 gold on the clink. I expect them to save it for buyback. No, he's just he's just gonna man up, go for the crits. I believe. Uh, Will yeah does have crits. Uh, this is manly. This is manly. It's not like they're out of it quite yet. I still think buybacks will be worth it for them. But Timbersaw finished up his bloodstone. What seemed like a terrible situation has turned out to be not too shabby for them. And actually, Clinks is going to try to man fight someone oh a call down zoning call down there but it misses okay are they really going to chase this jeffin is there he steals something he steals okay not not call down i thought he stole call down that would have been good oh rubik gets vacuum back but it's just one person vacuum wall that's down will they be able to fight this i don't know they're going to throw the stun out a hex stick on lilum lilum might be in trouble there is the ward pugna ward doing a bit of damage now you have to be very careful Ooh, they could have they could have killed the death prophet right there if the rubik was in the right spot but they, they really want to keep it they have the glyph out we're going to take this tower pretty pretty much um i the, the wall ends up being a zoning wall, but Klinks is there. He does pick him up, but Klinks has to pay with his life. Uh, but Scythe is there. Oh, he stole the wards. He stole the wards, and now they're going to hold. I think 16 is in a lot of trouble. 16 is going to die. He throws an either shot just to save his uh, for the end. Alvor is there. Can use the call down, but now he doesn't have mana. He needs to try. Oh, I know. He throws. He throws two. He's fine, but they, they lose the tier one tower. They need to protect the Rex. Oh, no. This, the, these, these these damn serpent wards range rex is nearly going to die rex but that's okay it's the range rex only problem is they don't have region in it but it again they hold in root holds exp probably dipping in their favor now there we go gold still hell of a long ways to go um but i mean that's just these towers take these towers and it'll be dead even roshan is up they want to go they want to go clinks i think if you had i guess he didn't have to buy back um, he didn't have it, but like now they need they need to be careful. They can't just YOLO into the Roshan pit and hope to take it. By the time they're able to take it, uh, Sha Shaman's wards will be up. Death Prophet's ult will definitely be up, um, and Darkseer wall is will be up. Wow, it's going it's basically up now. They're now it's the Radiant that's going to take the Roshan, but the Dire can hold this. Do they? Oh, they don't see it. They don't see it. Oh, they have a Sentry ward. It's it's feeling pretty bad. For them, they're just checking with the, with the, 
Gyrocopter's uh, illusion. And actually, they're gonna go on Wabbit Wabbit getting lifted, gets picked up. Dude, can they, can't, they can't kill him quite yet. He's still really tanky as hell. Mech is pop vacuum wall on three heroes. They have no follow up on there. What is that? Lilum. Oh, Alchemist will die from the backside. Pugna trying to run away. Will he be okay? Uh, meanwhile, Wabbit still trying to solo the entire team, but Fridge doing so much damage. Rubik will die. Jeffen is dead. Do they have any buybacks? No, there's no buybacks. Jeffen, he cannot die. He cannot die. die. Will deny himself. Uh, we'll be back up soon. We'll be uh, up now. Up. Thanks for the Bloodstone charge, he says. Uh, well, actually, not Bloodstone charge. Thanks to Bloodstone, he's able to come back. James uh, is in a lot of trouble. They will not be able to defend. 16 needs to drop the words. They do take the range, Rex. I think, oh, Hextic on Strums. Strums will be able to get out. They, they still somehow hold. They lost a lot of heroes. Uh, Bloodstone, they lose four Bloodstone charges. They lose two supports. And they lose their range, Rex. Uh, they really tried to go on the dark side who was tanky, 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 tanky. Uh, James Hill wasn't able to dish out the amount of damage he wanted to quite the... But now, is he going to try to do like the, the MLG snipe like, over here? Just like, shoot. Just go. Wow, that's a big ass chicken. Oh! <laughs> he gets down! Oh no, this is really bad, really, really bad. He gets vacuumed down! Holy crap. Darkseer. Darkseer redeeming himself after a pretty poor mid game. In general, but uh, the, the radiant are scared. Uh, Timber Salt, he loses three more Bloodstone charges. He's down to four, so not, not too good for him. Still, that was a big kill. I think they they can finish it, but they're not going to try to. Uh, well, Timber Salt comes up quickly thanks to Bloodstone. Trying to D ward. Bit of D warding action. Here we go. Lifts, lifts up the Darks here. I still have the vacuum. Pugna needs to be really careful. Needs to be really careful. Oh, Rubik, goodbye. Goodbye. Actually, we'll come in. Nice vacuum wall. No vacuum wall. They killed Electric. Electric. There's a, finally a vacuum here. There's a stun going out. Strums is in a lot of trouble. He's going to die. He goes down. Doesn't have buyback. I'm sure of it. Ether Shock is there. They kill three to clean up three. Nothing but the Timber Salt and Alchemist left. Oh, no. This is looking really bad. Timber Salt is there. Um, but 16, he doesn't. Wards are already down, so they'll be able to take this. I think this is going to be a second set of racks for pandas. Pandas doing so well. <clears throat> Your green dudes, uh, here we go. Alvor, Alvor, he can he can afford his um, butterfly, and there's no way they can stop him. Already, it's they're going to take the mid melee racks. No way. Uh, it's, whoop, they're just going to throw a stun. Take it out. Finally, after banging their heads against the wall for so long, they're going to try to take it. 16, 16, 16 will die. Uh, at least they kill one. At least they kill one. Collateral, collateral damage. Roshan is still up. Thinks needs a bit more survivability. Probably needs a BKB if he wants to live a bit longer than that. That's just that's just too much damage. It really is. Necrobook is being built on uh, Pugnum. What do I think about that? Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Definitely can burn some mana, I guess. And uh, help with the pushing. I just don't know how much it will help for team fighting. Do they have a mech? Oh, they don't have a mech. Maybe Pugna should have built... Oh, no, they, they do. Never mind. I lied. Uh, I did see that mech earlier. <coughs> uh, Clink's... Now he's going to try to go with the split push. I think I think that's what he should have done earlier. As soon as they try to push, and then he can come back. But I guess he's so set on trying to get kills. And... Yeah, he can do both. He can get kills. He can do some Rat Dota. Uh, now, now is the time for Rat Dota. They're gonna lose the Roshan. I guess they don't want to go in on that. Uh, they don't have the Shadow Shaman Wards, uh, though. Do you know this is a pretty slow Rosh? They might have to pop the Death Prophet ulti for this. I think it's worth it. But Death Prophet looks to be going for um, BKB. Yeah, I think they're gonna go. I think he's scared as hell. Now he's gonna he's he's throwing some pinks out that they're Roshan, but do they really want to contest? Now here we go, butterfly up on it, and and since the gyro here, now it should go down pretty quickly. But Clink really wants to push. He's just not sure. He's just not sure where they are. That's not what he can get. He can go check. Um, will he have buyback this time around? I think he will have buyback unless he chooses to spend it. Roshan is down. Now Clink's is going to try to push. I think. Uh, just push, save your TP as soon as they try to go high ground, then you come back. You can at least, I think you can at least take this tier 2. You can see the creep. Eat the creep. Eat, okay, don't eat a creep. Um, he's not using his death pack so often. Actually, 
don't remember seeing them use it once. He needs to use it. Uh, doesn't even want to use strafe quite yet. Uh, yes, now finally uses a strafe. He's going to have to TP back very soon. Or he's trying to force a TP back. He can. He really can. Eat something. Eat something. This might be your last chance. Oh, you got to eat something. Your damage would be so much better if they do. Now, all the, the action has started. Uh, the one ginger is that that's a Rubik. That's really big. If Rubik was able to steal something, it would be nice. They lose a tier 3 tower. Clinx is trying to find something. He might be able to pick up Centennial. I don't know. Uh, vacuum wall is still available. They're going to lose their second set of racks. This is bad. For them. Vacuum. Where's the wall? Not going to throw down the wall quite yet. Lilum stuns himself. Unable to do anything. There's the silence. Uh, Pugna could, could, this is looking. They're just going to chase him to the fountain. There's two sets of racks down. Ooh, last rack on actually. It lands. Alchemist is going to stun himself. Uh, almost guaranteed. Oh, or not, or not, or not, or not. Alchemist actually is able to throw it out. Uh, Darkseid buys back. Shadow Shaman is dead. Uh, but there are two racks down. Uh, there are two racks up, I mean. Four staff was actually up on Alchemist. Wow. Still, I think. I don't think it's over. They can still come back from this. Um, Alchemist can start looking to farm. I I don't know. I think I think Clinks should at least eat something. I mean, he's bony. He's bony for a reason. He's not using the death pack too often. Well, now he does. Okay, so that's just the first time I've seen it. Uh, he would have taken out the tower earlier over here. Possibly could have done something. Maybe pressure to tier three. Necro Book 3 up on um, Jang, Jangza. <clears throat> and then Timbersaw, he's, well, he's, he's got 7 Bloodstone Chargers up now. Has a Vitality Booster, is he going to build into a Vanguard? <laughs> Maybe Rod of Owie. Rod of Owie would be cute. Um, but this, this Gyrocopter is so fat. Mantis style? I guess that's just one way of popping the orchid once again. I don't know. Well, I guess it does help with the push. I don't know if I like Mantis style on in general on, on Gyrocopter. It's okay. Eh, it's okay. I guess you had nothing else to turn the, the Yasha into. You could, I guess, SMY if you wanted the HP. But survive a, survivability is not a big deal for this guy. Ah, ooh, they get a kill on the Lushrek down in the jungle. Already down, one down. Clinks, is he going to come back? I don't know where he is. BKB is pop. Gyrocopter wants to go in. And oh, there's a Pugna Ward up there. Uh, that's really close. I'm not sure why he threw it up there. Um, but Calldown is going to be there. The one ginger will die really quickly. They're going to take the last rex. They have to hold this. They kill two. Ready. Gyrocopter dish in a bunch of punishment. Death Prophet, of course, is there. Just in the mix of everything. Willem is going to die. Uh, he didn't have four staff because it was on cool. He actually has three TP scrolls. Cute. Um, but. They're really trying to hold. They have one melee racks left. Alvor. Alvor still has the Aegis, even if you kill him. He's just going to come back with wanting vengeance. Strums is a lot of trouble. Uh, but finally, Mega Creeps will be taken soon. I think Alvor, no, he's just going to not man up quite yet. Just going to back out. Wants to play it safe. And why not? They are winning this uh, game. They, there's only one melee racks left. <laughs> Tempersol commits suicide on the backside. And now, this is it. This is the final melee rex. What? And there we go. Rocket's going ahead. They can't hold this anymore. Um, GG, well played. Called from the Punga. And definitely GG, well played. It looked like it looked like Inu had the comeback mechanics, and um, they kept trying to take fights outside of base once or twice. It seemed like it was going to work, but it, I think it ended up biting them in the butt. Still, congratulations to Pandas. They're on to the semifinals. Hopefully, I will be able to cast the semifinal games. I I'll see if I can follow Pandas. Um, so, congratulations to Fridge and company. Wabbage and really creating so much space. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, join me for the semifinals if I cast it. <laughs>